Hello, my name is Jupiter Hadley, and today we're doing another version of Jupiter Plays All the Games, this time with the Dive Jam. The Dive Jam was a water-based game jam where, basically, developers made games that had a focus on water. This is a yearly jam. I don't know how many years they were running it. However, if you missed this one, you should probably check out its jam page and see if you can follow the host and then see the next one. I'm playing all of the games that are entered this jam for about a minute each. Links to the individual games will be in the description of this video, so you can check them out further. And all my info will also be in the description, so you can check me out as well. This video is brought to you in part by the lovely people over on Patreon who support me every month so that I can continue to cover these little indie gems. If you'd like to support me, my Patreon will be in the end cards and also in the description. Thank you very much for watching and liking and commenting. Next. We're playing Spa, Spla Lunking. You can play this with multiplayer, but I'm gonna play single player. Um, ooh, top dive, doctor dives, hand dive. Let's do dive classics. Likes burgers, dislikes veggies, totally cool. I mean, this is probably all good. We should probably just start the bare minimum. Awesome. I'm liking these, gla these graphics. These graphics. Alright, so I'm doing it right, I think. There was something over here, actually. Oh, hi. Are you still good? It just keeps giving me a thumbs up, so I'm guessing that means still good. So that was gold we're getting. This is great. You still doing good? That's good. We got some more treasure for you. Ah, uh, tank malfunction. Alright, so let's grab this. And then let's go up. Alright. We don't want to mess around with stuff like tank malfunctions. Then again, would be nice to have more things. Especially since we just found a lot of things. Oh, I figured the top would be there wasn't, which isn't very good. Uh, you might die. Aw, oh, you died. You're dead, bud. Aw. Oh. <laughs> uh, likes chi chili dogs? Dislikes water. Whoa, 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 so we're gonna go to this place where there's water and dive in the water. I think this is a pretty funny game. He like eats a chili dog. Oh, he's super fast. Little fast guy. Those look like spikes, they look bad. It's cool there's so many different characters and environments, and I would guess that if I played with other people, we'd be racing to get the gold and then be alive. Wow, you died so fast. We can probably actually get you out of here. If I wasn't so greedy. Look at that. The score is eight. <laughs> Next. We're playing Flappy Fish. Oh, by holding jump near the surface, you recharge it. Find all the golden fish. You know, judging the fish by its name, I would think that this was a Flappy Bird game. As it turns out, it is not a Flappy Bird game. It's indeed a much better genre. I don't even know if Flappy Bird's a genre, but it's a much better game. Look how cute my little blowfish is. Like, like, ugh. I just want that. But I can't really move around. I mean, we sort of can. I'm sort of hopping closer, I think. Come here, fish. I'm like, I feel like I'm collecting those, like, goldfish crackers. Oh, there's one all the way over there as well. Get in the water. There you go. Much better. Yeah, let's catch some more goldfish. I just want my little air bar to fill right up. Well, water bar, I should say. Oh, didn't quite get there. Oh, we'll just kind of go up here. So you can still jump quite far. 
And you've got some water in ya. Don't worry, I'm gonna just get this and I'll jump right back in the water, I promise. These graphics are super cute. Splash. Next. We're playing Deep Hook. Ah, okay. I was kind of doing it wrong. So we are this bubble type deal. And we want to kind of go deeper and deeper into the ocean. We need to stop hitting stuff though. Alright, so we'll get these. How do we get past this? There are no actual instructions. So maybe that just didn't work out. That one. Okay, let's try again. Oh, we need to not hit stuff so much. Alright, we'll just kind of hit some more stuff just real quick. health packs. I'm not very good at that at all. But it's a really nice game. I like the graphics and the depth to the ocean that we're in the fish in the background are really cute. Next. We're playing Bitochondria, a game by Diver. Bitochondria. Alright, it's WSD to move, mouse button to shoot. Alright, you are welcome. Ah, sorry, I didn't read that. Fine, if you insist then. What's going on? What do I insist? I'm sorry. Click mouse to skip text. Hold and release mouse button and dash. Life is as short as one breath. Alive, you go now. Okay. I feel bad for not reading any of that. Displace yourself using, uses oxygen, use WSD to move. Double jump in air with W. You should use your inter uh, and currents when low on air to find air. Okay. I mean, this all looks like know air related stuff but okay you cannot go through the membranes without a real um, propulsion feature I don't know what that means but I need more air because I'm nearly out of air so let's give me air give me air because I don't want to die I'm die I died I'm a very unlucky unicellular that wanders through hostile environments this place uses yourself, uses oxygen, use dirty to move, jump in air. You should use your um, internet and currents when low on air and find air pockets. Oh, so like, this will lead me to an air pocket? Is that what you're telling me? Yeah, but it didn't lead me to an air pocket though, that's the thing. Like, it led me to a wall. Hmm. Cannot go through the membranes without a real repulsion feature. Hold and release, um, left mouse button and dash. Hold and release, hold, and then release, hold, and then release. I have no idea how to do this. Mm, but I'm sorry, little guy, that I can't figure out your world. Maybe an air pocket's up here. I'm not sure where the air is coming from, little guy. But you're cute. I feel like I haven't done this game justice. It looks like a pretty interesting game. Just not playing it well, it seems. Next. We're playing Legend of the Lost Island. Right. Chapter 1. Unconscious. Rain. Just rain. The sound of drops from the leaves echoed blatantly in my ears. The thunderous lightning stormed over the city lights, overpowering their lighted, their lighted shadows. I tiptoed slowly towards the shade of the trees and slid down the wall, gazing at my phone. I had nowhere to go. Irksu? I'm sorry if I say his name wrong. Ir... 
Ix Irisku? My sister cried in the distance. I glanced up. Are you okay? Where have you been? Papa and Mama have been looking all over for you. Mama and Papa were blind faces in my eyes. They never noticed me. I had no affection given. What wrong, sis? Why are you here, coupled in the rain? I have something to tell you. Papa just fell at the beach. He's unconscious. They, they think he's dead. Dead. Papa, my abusive father, dead. Though I tried not to display any emotion in front of Sis, my mind leaped for joy, feeling that I could finally be free with my life. Look, I know. I know that you don't care for him anymore, but I do. Please, can you come with me? My mind echoed, stay, stay, stay. But I couldn't. She was my sister. Okay, I'll come, my little sister. It's over there. Please stick with me, big bro. Emmy gazed off in the distance while I tagged closely behind, pulling her lightly by her blue pigtail. Well, here it is. It is a beautiful scene from here. I was speechless. The daunting city scene and a sea looked stunning, uh, stunning, blended with the shadowy moon. Oh yes, Papa's over there, but, you know. Papa, we're here. Papa? Amy? You can't be here, Amy. Papa? Well, nothing... Well, not faring well. Mayu? Oh, thank goodness you were here. My brother was very reluctant to come. But where's Papa? He's conscious, but he asked me to give something to you. I glared at Mayu. She was our carer, after all. What could she pos possibly have to give to us? The most unreliable being in the whole... I don't know, maybe it was cut off. I'm sorry I can't stay long, but here it is. She looks young. She looks younger than we are. It's a box, just a plain old box. A box? What could a box do? Little did we know that this box would change our lives. What's in the box? Chapter 2, The Shine on the River. So this um, demo only contains chapter 1 and chapter 2. It seems very interesting. So my papa isn't dead, but I have some turmoil with him. So that's something I have to work out, I guess. Next. We're playing Convict Torpedo. Let's see how this goes. Looks like it's freezing on my computer, so let's just let it. Oh, there we go. Case number one name, Alec Catholic. Makes a shiv out of anything, even someone's amputated leg. Press red button. All right, so we get to execute the prisoner. And to execute the prisoner, we get to throw them. And then we can kind of control how deep they go. They were executed. Okay, now we've got Biggest Dickus. Keeps an empty toilet roll as a pet. His name is Nigel. Surgically removed a man's lung just so that he could beat them at a running race. Yeah, it's pretty, it's pretty awful, man. And that was also like a really awful thing. We can sort of fix the line and then like... Let's try again. Pete Turn makes toenail sculptures, murdered their spouse after disagreement over whether to drink wine or beer. They said wine. Okay, uh, that's kind of messed up. So look at we can be caught in water and stuff to go far. I haven't actually got anything. Oh, we're starting to like get stuff though. And then we kind of torpedo out of water. I think we meant torpedo out of the water. It's kind of fun watching people die like this. Next. We're playing One Breath. One day, Freddy decided he was going to take his boat out and explore the island in the middle of a huge lake not far from his home. While exploring the island, he tripped over a log and fell headfirst into the very deep hole with water at the bottom. This must be part of the cave system under the island, Fred thought. My only hope for survival is finding the exit near where I left the boat. Of course, this meant holding his breath while swimming the tunnels under the island, hoping not to get lost. Fred recalled reading an article about the cave system which said there were air pockets and bubble streams where one could find air in an emergency. However, the article was written by a French diving instructor who had to retire after hurting his knee chasing butterflies, so Fred wasn't sure if he could trust it. I sure hope he could. He did think that he could make the swim on one breath. All right, let's see Fred. Let's try to get out of here. All right. Here we are, little Kanye shaking his bell in the background. Sorry about that. 
He just likes to be a part of this. Let's go up here, maybe. I need an air pocket. I need an air pocket. Oh, okay. Air pocket. Great. Okay. Just keep suing Fred. We'll get out of here. You're wearing jeans underwater. I always found it, like, very hard to swim in jeans. Not that I've tried swimming in jeans a lot. Um, we used to have this, like, big lake. And sometimes us crazy kids, we'd go swimming in the lake and not have uh, swimsuits. So we'd just go in our clothes and get wet and then drive home in the car soaking wet. Um, but yeah, I found it like very heavy to swim in jeans. You know, that makes sense? I feel like it does, probably. But clearly Fred, Fred's prepared for everything. So Fred's fine swimming in jeans. So we just gotta find our way out of here. I don't think I'm gonna be able to. I get lost fairly easily, but you know, so far we haven't died, so that's good. It's like an underwater maze that also could kill you. Next, we're playing Catman tries to die. Is what the game page says. Here it says Catman tries not to die. Who knows? death. So you managed to lose a second life falling out of a plane and landing in the middle of the ocean and drowning. Seems unlikely, but I tell you what, if you can make it through another six deaths without drowning, I will help you get back to dry land. How does that sound? Meow. Okay, that's a, a good enough response for me. You better get cracking. Meow. There you go. Alright, so I have to not drown, but instead die any other way. Alright, let's go to the spikes. Level two. Okay. There we go. I thought I died. Oh, I didn't die fast enough. So not only do you have to die fast, you have to die, you have to die fast, and not by drowning. I keep thinking the anchor will be a good way to die, but... There we go. We're great at this. I feel kind of bad this cat has to die, but I mean... I don't know what this button does, but maybe it'll fix it. Oh, I didn't go fast enough. Alright, we just need to move through this whole thing faster. Drop this, and then... There we go. It's a very interesting little platformer. Ah, next. We're playing Deep Breath, which has a really cute title screen, but I clicked. Well, that's kind of interesting. And then I can kind of push that. Oh! I've messed this up. So we create sort of that little pocket that we can then use to gain more air. We kind of want to end up behind it. Oh. I don't know how to do that. Ah. It's a pretty challenging puzzle game, but it's a super interesting one. I need to go all the way up to the top before I did that. I don't know. Next. We're playing a Breath for Humanity. Tutorial. Get your player the treasure chest in under 10 seconds. Which is a one breath. Alright. So they only have one breath to sort of make it. I don't know if I even made it there. Ooh. I kind of fell. The hitboxes are a bit strange. See, like, I hit that before I actually hit it. Which is a bit weird. I think I died. Which is fine, I guess. We'll try again. Alright. Takes a little bit of getting used to where all these hitboxes are. Like, I can't even move up against that wall. Uh, I don't know. I mean, it's a good start. It's a challenging idea. 
Next. We're playing Humanity's Last Breath. We need to get out of here. He is arming those missiles. Alright. Let's get out of here then. It's probably shit. I mean, that's not a very nice way to talk to your game. Dude, be careful. Stop running into me. Wow, this current is super strong. Uh, yeah, blame it on the current. They arm some missiles as well. Shit, man, where'd you go? I mean, I lost you. You ran away. Oh, hi, I'm here. This voice acting is pretty good, as are the graphics. This has gone way too far. We need to warn the people on the surface before it's too late. Alright, let's go to the surface then. We're gonna need some missiles or something to get through here. Don't worry, got it. I'm lost here. Okay, we should be able to make our way to the surface from here. But we need to be careful because we don't know how many people were involved in this mutiny. I died. I wanted to know more about okay, the mutiny. The voice acting is super nice. He is arming those missiles. And it looks like a really well made game, you know? This has gone way too far. We need to warn the people on the surface before it's too late. Grab some oxygen. Dude, That's be need. careful. Wow, this current is super strong. Yeah, I know. That's why it's stuck. We need to go up a bit. Right. There we go. And not bang into those as much. Ugh. Okay, we should be able to make our way to the surface from here. But okay. we need to be careful because we don't know how many people were involved in this mutiny. Yep. Shoot, now ask questions later. Got it. Guy, you need to turn around. Like I have no more ammo, but they're dead. But Are you also, my voice yet? I know I am. I like your voice. I'm running out of time to finish this fucking game. Depth uh. charges don't even explode. The AI is terrible. Let's just use a Finding Nemo current to force us to the end. I mean, we could, but I got stuck. I mean, I like breaking the fourth wall, though. Oh, I died again. <laughs> Next. We're playing Convert Dive Team. You are a covert... It's a covert, not convert. <laughs> you are a covert dive team tasked with sneaking into a base. You have one breath to get your dive team to the mission zone. It's a race against the clock. How long can your lugs hold out? WSD, mouse one. Got it. All right. Target is east. All right. I'm clicking and holding to go faster. There, there. Shh, 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 we got this, we got this. How do we attack them? Like, I'm here. We're good. Mission failed because they shot me. What do I have to do once I get there? Maybe we're not supposed to kill them. Maybe we're just supposed to avoid them and then get to, like, our target. Oh, for whatever reason, I thought those little, like, lights or those circles in the water were bubbles and that they'd help us in our breath they're not bubbles they will not help us they are bad things snicker snicker see look at we're right on their tail like surely we could i don't know destroy them but maybe this is our target land who knows Oh, that's just another boat. Maybe they're not our target either. Stand by the coast. Oh, darn it. Next. Last but certainly not least, we're playing Calls from the Ocean. Cue to start the game. Okay. Music in the opening title screen is really nice. I remember this fateful day. The day you decided not to turn back. That day you waved at me for the last time. That day the ocean took you away. I'll never forget it. And that's all the story you get. Sorry I didn't finish this one, but hey, there's still some cool stuff to do. Like fighting monsters, opening chests, and leveling up. Just remember, fight with Q and display your status with W. One more thing before I go. You can't die, just like in real life. I'm gonna fight the chest. Maybe I can't open the chest yet. Come here. Look at all this damage we're doing. We received 1,021 damage. Do they never die as well, just like in real life? We just fight them forever. 
My HP. Ooh, something happened there. Status. Okay. My one HP has expired, but they also died, so. Take this. Take this brain guy. I'm sorry, it's time to die, brain guys. They don't really look like brains either, but I mean, I'm just gonna call them whatever I want. But as I was saying, this is the last game that I'm able to play from this jam. Um, I've been, yeah, it's been quite fun covering all of these water themed games. So thank you very much for watching and liking and commenting. Feel free to check these entries as well as me out. Bam, 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 bam. Right, bye.